Hey, I'm Steph, and we thought we'd drop a video this time to mix it up so you could get to know us a bit better. So this is a bit of fun. We're going to be asking each other a few questions. So, Joe, let's get started. Let's do it. So let's go. Steph, are you ready? Let's hit these questions. Um, first question is going to be, first of all, I just want to say congratulations, Steph, because you've been plant-based for now, I would say about four months and you've been doing so well. So my first question would be, now that you're plant-based, can you see yourself being with someone that is not plant-based? I guess for me, I, I've come for a journey, so it's not been like immediate for me. Um, I've transformed little by little. So if I met someone and they were like on a similar journey and they were looking to go towards plant-based or trying to be more healthier, I think, that would be fine for me. I just wouldn't be keen on someone that's like, yeah, red meat, I'm a meat eater, steak all day and all of that because what's in your fridge is a big deal and I fast a lot. So I wouldn't, I couldn't be with someone that is quite greedy and likes to eat copious amounts of food. It, it wouldn't work lifestyle wise. So I'd be open minded if someone's on the journey and they're also trying to strive to become plant based, perhaps maybe I can act as some inspiration. That's my viewpoint. So Joe, you've been a vegan for seven years. I mean, that's like black belt. <laughs> so um, in terms of a partner, would you be looking for someone that is also plant-based? What's your opinion there? Oh, so as for me, um, I would say, first of all, I just want to say there's no judgment to anyone that isn't plant-based. Um, family, friends, there's no judgment. Um, I feel like if you are, are entitled to our own choices. So um, if it's someone that I'm going to be spending um, the rest of my life with or like partner, someone I'm in a relationship with, yes, I would say um, they would have to be plant-based too. I just feel like the dynamic otherwise is gonna be a bit complicated in the household. So next question for you, Steph, is what are the three things, most important things or qualities that your partner must have? So my three would be attitude towards life and their morals and how they view life and their goals. Uh, secondly, how they sleep. Um, that's a serious one for me. If they're erratic and they snore and they're kind of a bit too much, that will have a detrimental impact on me. I'm I'm a light sleeper. And also, yeah, their spirituality, you know, um, someone that is open minded and um, about, you know, growing and keeping a high vibration. It's important. So, Joanna, what are your three traits that you'd look for in a partner? As for me, I would say um, compassion would have to be one, spiritual. Um, hmm. And high vibes, it has to be like high vibes, self-love, <gasps> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tie. Self-love, high vibes, and compassionate. No, 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 self-love, compassionate, and spiritual. And when it comes to bucket list, what are your top five items? For me, it would be um, one, to help my own land. Definitely, it's something that needs to be done, and I would like to grow my own food on that land. Um, I would like to go to Africa. Uh, there's a few countries in Africa that I would like to visit. When I go there, I want to do um, things with animals and also kids. Um, I would like to travel to spiritual destinations and experience the culture there. So, that, like places like Mexico, um, Bali. Um, there's so many, so many to list. Um, another thing. Bucket list, bucket list. Oh, maybe swim with dolphins, something like that. Um, but then again, I'm afraid of deep, deep water. So it'll have to be... Hmm. So I can't think of anything else right now. I know I'm going to think of it later after this video. Um, so if I do think of anything, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> So, what are five things that's on your bucket list? So, number one would definitely have to be travel, but I'd have to break that down. So, first off, going to Kenya. My parents were born there. They grew up there. And I really want to see the place in detail, recall places that they, they, they grew up around and they used to mention when I was a kid. Other travel as well, like... Um, 
traveling all of South America and spending proper time out there. Um, I really said that I'd jump out of a plane. I don't know if I could still do that, but it was on the bucket list. Um, what else? Um, living in another country. I've done it before, but I think um, another one in this lifetime for sure. And it would be something that I think I'd do for a few years at least, um, aligned to career growth. So, um, and especially with the way that the world's moving, we could work anywhere we want really if we work remotely. So why not? Um, I think that's it. Like, I'm sure I'm quite adventurous anyway, so I'd like to think, but yeah, that's me. So tell us, what is your most embarrassing moment? I can't wait for this one. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment. <sighs> All right, so one that I could recall as being, it has to go down as number one would be, um, I'm going to make this as short as possible. So there was a time I was living in Atlanta. I had a roommate. My roommate was on her way home, um, but she was in her boyfriend's car. So her and her boyfriend was on the way to the apartment. I was walking to the apartment, so she told me, you know, if we drive past you, we'll stop and just jump in. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I heard a beep, I turned around, and it was a car that looked like her boyfriend's. So I went sprinting, sprinting towards the car. I got to the car, and there was four guys that was trying to talk to me. So um, I was super embarrassed because I looked so thirsty. The way I ran to that car... <laughs> um, yeah, so that would have to um, be my most embarrassing moment. What about you, Steph? For me, back in the days, I must have been in my early 20s, um, I wasn't really great drinker, especially wine. It can get you very drunk. So I was with a friend that could handle her wine. I hardly ate anything. We went to a club, drank quite a lot of wine, and this club had stairs. Stairs when you left the club, like to the outside. Um, so it was on the street level. I literally was coming out, and our friend came to pick us up, and I dropped, like, down 30 stairs, like significantly just dropped like it was landslide drop um so, so um I just remember reaching the bottom of the stairs and they were like come on let's go to the car so yeah probably the most embarrassing moment <laughs> what would you say is your biggest fear Joanna my biggest fear I would have to say would be um I have a few so I have heights Ooh, I'm still afraid of heights. Um, I'm afraid of being in deep water where I don't have 100% control. Um, I could swim. I'm a good swimmer. But like like I said, deep water, no. And another thing I'm afraid of is spiders. So, uh, two bugs that I cannot do is spider and, uh, spiders and roaches. No. Yeah. I just can't. I won't be able to, I won't be able to stay in my house unless they're removed. They have to go. Bye. My biggest fear is probably also heights, um, but crossing major roads. I know that might sound crazy, but it's almost a bit like the heights where you've got so many lanes um, going back, you know, on both sides, like big highway and trying to cross the pedestrian crossing. I mean, in Canada, it killed me and also in Dubai. So I've had very anxious moments. Um, I can't stand the speed and the scale of how many cars are coming at at that pace so that throws me off probably one of my biggest fears because i've actually experienced it and gone can i just like walk backwards now <laughs> which i've done as well and to end on a high what has been your biggest win joanna as for me i would have to say my biggest win in life so far is being a mom it's my kids um my two biggest blessings so yeah what would you say is your biggest win in life so far? I'd have to say my biggest win, I, I wouldn't want to put it to academia or career, career achievements because I feel that like that's always kind of growing. For me, it was when I decided to 360 my life and I said, no, this is not the life for me. I want to go in a completely different direction and I don't care what anyone thinks and to be honest that has been my biggest win because it's led me to where I am today it was the inspiration for the podcast and it's it's the life I live now and I'm truly happy I really know myself and I know that what's ahead of me can only be fantastic and I feel it and I'm living it right now so biggest win and most significant win in my life 
So everyone, I hope you enjoyed our fun video of questions and getting to know us a bit better. Look out for our upcoming episodes. We've got a few cool ones coming. One's called Setting Your Boundaries. And it's all about healthy relationships with yourself and others and how you can kind of maintain a balanced relationship with yourself and others. So really, really helpful one. Okay, guys, so that wraps up our questions. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to get a little bit more depth about who we are as people. I can't wait for you guys to tune in to our next episode, episode four, and we have episode um, five and six and seven, um, and then we complete the series one. So make sure you stay tuned. Can't wait, we have some exciting episodes coming up. Um, it gets even better and better. So thank you so much for all of you that have supported us this far. Lots of love and light. Mwah.